Every once in a while, we like to look in with the American public and find out who do you blame for the gridlock that's going on right now? The do-nothing Congress in Washington. Voters aren't going to have much sympathy for a party fully in power not getting absolutely anything done. This Congress invented the word do-nothing Congress. Government sucks at doing stuff. Let's begin today's Wednesday show. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Oprah was on television yesterday talking about Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain. She thinks social media has made things worse for people. Every death, not just Anthony Bourdain's and not just Kate Spade's, every death is here to teach us how to live better. What will come of these deaths is a more open desire, actually, to talk about it. Because there are lots and lots of people who have not been forthcoming and because they're ashamed still. But it is serious and it is real. I actually think that social media and society in general has made it worse for people because everybody's trying to maintain a standard that cannot be it's held. Fantasy, isn't yeah. it? Meanwhile, Netflix's deal to carry Anthony Bourdain's Parts Unknown in the U.S. was due to expire Saturday, but announcing yesterday, and great news for fans, the service has extended its arrangement to keep the food and travel show available for the foreseeable future. Alec Baldwin claims if he ran for president, he would 1,000% win. The actor, famous for impersonating Trump on SNL, said that winning the presidency would be a simple feat for him on the Howard Stern show yesterday. If I ran, I would win. You would? I would absolutely win. Then why don't I, you 1, run? Percent then where are you? What are you? You're busy with match games. My wife no says offense. she would. I got to do match games. I mean, you can do, do match games. I got to do match games. If I listen, hear one more time, I got to do match games. The United States or match games. I don't want to miss summer in. with my kids. Listen, I don't want to miss summer. You could be boy, president. Boy, am I going to miss summer with my kids. <laughs> You're saying. I'm going to be president. I'm going to take the whole summer off and be like, listen, everybody. I'm going to East Hampton to relax. <laughs> Well, why don't you run for president as... Howard and I have to go to Nick and Tony. <laughs> why don't you run for president as Donald Trump? That way everyone will have everything. If I ran for president, I would win. Hands down, I would win. Because you would, would be not... the funniest, most exciting, when are you most gonna... crazy if campaign. You're the, if you're the hope of the Democratic people Party... People don't. I'm not. But people don't. I'm only saying that because people don't... Uh, um, I mean, people don't really have a sense of who's going to come up. I mean, somebody great is going to come up, I hope. But the only reason I say that is because I'd love to run for that kind of position. We you just say, have things be very common sense. So you would never There's say... so many things this country needs to do that are so obvious. And now, a minute with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Hello, America, stupid people. Especially you stupid country music fan. Kim Jong-un, you scared? You and your stupid country singer. The music cowboy. Our music much better. Wind chimes. Put outside a home. Wind blow. Go to number one. Are you scared of me? You see my army? It's big. Like my bomb. I have two for you. Knock, knock. Who there? Boom. Ha! Hit me with bomb blowing up in your face. You stupid country music fan! What? You have pet cow? You chewing tobacco? You know what I chew? Mmm. Mmm. Big Mac! Hey, school doing hateful speech! Must go now! How to put bodies in nuclear reactor! Hashtag I hate you! That was a minute with North Korean leader Kim Jong un. President Trump said that the U.S. will stop military exercises with South Korea. Kim Jong-un loves that. Just looking at the guy, you can tell he hates exercises. The White House's chief economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, had a heart attack yesterday. Perhaps God is a Justin Trudeau fan. Stormy Daniels is launching a perfume called Truth, much better than the first name the test marketing group came up with, Trump's 
funk. Meanwhile, Trump fixer Michael Cohen expects to be arrested any day now. Question, how hard do you think it is to find a bail bondsman that accepts Russian rubles? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure that Trump agreement with Kim Jong-un will lead to nuclear disarmament just as much as graduating Trump University will lead to a job. Wells Fargo announced that it's banning crypto purchases and currencies. A company spokesman said they're trying to protect their clients who might lose money they could potentially steal from them in the future. A viral video going around shows a squirrel caught shoplifting a bag of M&Ms. You know, how long will society society turn a blind eye to addiction. A 69-year-old Pennsylvania man was arrested after a road rage incident that ended with him defecating on the other driver. Cops charged him with something that rhymes with hit and run. I wonder if Geico covers that. A lawsuit alleges that an assistant principal at a high school in Queens gave female teachers perks in exchange for sexual favors. Apparently, he exploited the desperation of teachers who would do anything to avoid lunchroom duty. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. George R.R. Martin talked about plans for the Game of Thrones spin-offs. He said they plan to go ahead without Roseanne. Hey, spin-offs, nobody gives a f An alligator delayed flights at Orlando International Airport. Do you have any idea how long it takes a TSA to pat down a 10-foot reptile? Hey, TSA, nobody gives a f and computer experts are warning that Amazon Fire TV and Fire TV Stick are vulnerable to a new virus that takes control of your device. No matter what channel you turn to, it keeps switching back to the view. Hey, chatty Cathy's, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests Tuesdays and Thursdays. NSS Live.